Hey everybody, welcome back to our 52 weeks of personal injury video series. This is Chase, I'm Joel. Today is week number 40 and we want to talk to you about why is it so hard to find a medical malpractice lawyer to take your case? Well, the first reason is that in order to even have a viable medical malpractice case, you have to reach a standard that's pretty hard to reach, right? So medical malpractice cases, you always have to look at well, what happened and did that particular doctor, physician, nurse, chiropractor, whoever it may be, did they breach the standard of care for that specific practice area? In order to do that, us as lawyers, not doctors, have to hire another doctor or expert to opine whether or not that, that doctor breached the standard of care, which is difficult and expensive. So that's the first reason. Yeah, and I think the expense has to be considered in light of what the damages are. Mm -hmm. um, it's virtually impossible to bring, to, to make the numbers work if you're not severely catastrophically injured um, in a medical malpractice case because literally in most cases just to get an opinion from an expert witness that will opine, like Chase was saying, about whether the initial doctor breached the standard of care, you're going to be 10 grand into it before you blink an eye just to get that initial record review and opinion. Um, then assuming that the doctor comes back and says yes there was a breach of the standard of care, then I think the last stat that I saw regarding medical malpractice cases success rate at trial is 90% of the time they result in a defense verdict. Right. So 9 out of 10 times they result in a defense verdict uh, and that's after all of this money has been spent uh, getting experts to give those opinions. So right. the thing is is that when you call a lawyer about a medical malpractice case, if your injuries are not catastrophic, most lawyers are going to decline representation just based on that fact because they know that the numbers won't work. Right. Um, yeah, because it could be malpractice, but the damages are so low it doesn't justify you know, going, you know, filing a lawsuit or making a claim against that doctor. That's right. And, and we're not saying that's right. We're not saying that's fair. It's just the reality of the way that the legal system is set up to handle medical malpractice cases. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, honestly, if you, you go through all of that, you're probably in most situations going to spend at least six figures or $100,000 or more to get through a trial of a medical malpractice case. So you have... Honestly, the deck is stacked against you to begin with as far as winning the case. It's going to be very expensive to get there. And if you do get there, you know, you've got, you got to look at the numbers. Like, if, is my injury worth spending $100,000 or more to get to trial with uh, the deck stacked against me? So, in reality is, to answer the question of why is it so hard to find a medical malpractice lawyer, it, it's you have to look at the numbers and then you have to look at the fact that there's not a whole lot of lawyers out there that have a great deal of experience handling medical malpractice cases right yeah and, and you know it's I don't think necessarily it's so much as like the you can't find a lawyer it's just you might not just have the case that a lawyer is going to take to pursue in a medical malpractice case because we get a ton of calls uh, for what people think may be medical malpractice right but a bad result doesn't mean it's malpractice, mm -hmm. which a lot of times people have to understand, right? Because every time you go to the doctor, they let you know the risks associated with, you know, ABC procedure. And just because the doctor, you know, decided to choose, you know, route A of, you know, three separate routes doesn't mean that the route that the doctor took that resulted in a bad result um, wasn't within the standard of care, yeah. right? So um, it, it's just, they're always very difficult. So. Yeah. So I guess to sum it all up, number one, you have to find a lawyer that is experienced with medical malpractice cases that knows how to handle them in your particular state. Mm -hmm. And then two, you're going to have, in order to get that lawyer interested in your case, you're going to have to have, uh, unfortunately, uh, injuries that are catastrophic enough to justify the expense that's going to be involved. And then that lawyer is going to have to invest in your case just to pursue it and then if all that lines up, then you got to have the liability facts to prove that that doctor actually breached the standard of care or acted in a way that a, a doctor in a similar situation would not have acted. So yeah. that's why it can be really difficult. Yep, it certainly can be. So. 
All right. Well, if this video has been helpful to you, we would appreciate you hitting that like button, sharing it with your friends. Otherwise, we will see you next week for video number 41, where we will talk about the value of traumatic brain injury cases.